Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest and today we're going to do a Clubhouse tutorial. Basically everything you need to know when it comes to how to use the app Clubhouse. Now if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm all about teaching you how to build passive income, become financially free and design your best lives. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos. So if you haven't heard of Clubhouse already, it's basically this audio only, invite only, chat room based type of app. So when you go into these chat rooms, you'll be able to talk with people audio only, you can't send text messages, you can't do video. It's a really interesting app and it's getting more and more popular these days. What I'm gonna do is screen share my Clubhouse app so you can see how it works. So now we are in the app Clubhouse. You can see there's a bunch of different rooms here. So for example, this one says how to maximize Clubhouse for beginners. You can just go in there and you can start chatting with people. But there are different levels to it, so let me go over that later. Basically recording conversations in Clubhouse is against Clubhouse's terms of service. So I don't want to go into the rooms right now, but this is the first look at the feed. So at the top, you can see scheduled events, but the stuff at the bottom is basically everything that's currently going on right now. You can join the conversation pretty quickly by just going into it. You can tap explore and you can see other conversations going on, but let's get back to it. First, I'm going to show you how to start a room. So if you tap the bottom green button, you can start a room and there's different ways you could do it. You can do it open to everyone. You can do it to people you follow and you can also do it to people you choose. Then there's these other levels that might not be accessible to you yet, but you can create rooms under clubs if they allow it. So this is my own club, Passive Income Entrepreneurs. So I could create a room around that. I also have access to this other YouTube one, but we're gonna go over clubs later. Clubs are basically interest groups and I'll show you guys what that means later. When you're opening a room, it's a good idea to add a topic so you can tap add a topic here. You can say something like, let's talk passive income or something like that. And that allows you to set the topic right away. And I could just press let's go, but I'm not gonna do that right now because it'll notify people. So whenever you create a room, the people you follow will be able to see that you are in this room and they might join in. So let's back out of that. At the bottom right, you can tap the nine dots and you can see who's available to chat. These are people that you follow and they follow you back. So it's really interesting. You can see who's online. You can see if they're already in a certain room talking about stuff. Now tap the top right profile image and you'll be able to access your bio. Your bio is very important. It basically allows you to kind of say who you are and compel other people to follow you. So you wanna flesh it out. You wanna say what you're about. So I say I'm about passive income and financial freedom. I kind of outline some of my achievements here. And then I talk a bit about my story and how they can find me. So you tap it here and you're gonna be able to update your bio. So make sure to update it, make it really fleshed out. At the bottom here, you can see that I'm nominated by somebody and that just means that's the person who invited you. So basically, if you invite other people, you're gonna get like a little kickback to your own profile, right? So they might be able to find you through those profiles. So make sure to invite people that will actually use the app. On the bottom here are the clubs I'm a part of, which again, I'll go over more later. They are interest groups that you can follow or be a member of. At the top right, you can tap the settings and you can change your notification settings. You can pause them. You can also set your interests. So here I kind of set the different interests I'm into. And this basically will allow you to see the rooms that are going on that are around that topic. As you can see here, you can connect your Twitter and your Instagram, and that's a very important thing to do so that as you see here in the bio, I've connected those different links so people can tap them and they can go externally to my profiles. You should also update your photo. So here I've changed my photo. Now let's go back. And basically you can also search. You can search for different people that maybe you should follow. You can find conversations about certain things. So if you do this, you can see different clubs you should follow that are around that topics to explore. And you can see also other people who are interested in this might follow these people. So you can find specific people or specific clubs. As you can see, if I look up passive income, I'm ranking for the people and the clubs. So this is my own club here. And this is basically an interest group I created. If you wanna apply for a club, there's an external link that you need to use in order to apply for it. 
I will link that down below so you guys can see how to do that. But this allowed me to create a club around passive income, which is what I'm into. You can see there's a bunch of members that I invited as well as a bunch of different followers. You can search contacts in Clubhouse and actually invite them into your club once that's ready. All right, let's go back out now. At the top here, you can invite people to Clubhouse. I already ran out of Clubhouse invites, so I don't have any currently, but that would be where you do it. You do it at this little message button. And then here's events. So you tap the little calendar and you can see all the upcoming events for you. You can also go to my events. So this is the one I'm gonna be in later on. As you can see, January 23rd, I'm going to be talking on this panel and we're just gonna be talking about YouTube. But also if you wanna create your own event, you can tap here. You can add co-hosts, you can add a bunch of people here. You can put an event name. So if you don't wanna create a room right away, you might wanna schedule it out and it'll notify your followers. And then right here is the activity feed. You can see all your notifications here what people are scheduling. They might ping you as well to join different rooms. So that kind of wraps up the basic features around Clubhouse. I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna talk a little bit about starting a room. Since you're not really allowed to record and broadcast the rooms itself, I don't wanna screen record and post that up, right? So I'm gonna talk about it and show some screenshots. So basically how rooms work is that you have a stage and you have an audience level. The stage will include moderators and it'll include speakers. The moderators are the people that can bring people from audience level up to stage level as well as mute and unmute people and they can also end the room basically they can start the room and they can end the room so when people are in audience level they can basically raise their hand there's a little button on the bottom right that when you tap it you can ask to come up to stage level and if the mod accepts you and allows you to speak you're able to enter the stage once you're on stage you have this microphone button on the bottom and you can mute and unmute yourself in order to speak and then everyone has access to tap the plus button in order Order to ping someone to join the rooms. So that's kind of the gist of clubhouse rooms. Basically when you enter it, you will be in audience level and then you can raise your hand to speak and be on stage level. The best rooms kind of have a format. For example, I hosted a panel where I had a lot of different mods and all of us were basically answering questions. I would be the MC and I allowed people to come up to the stage and ask their questions and then I would move them back down to audience level to keep it going with a good flow. So it's basically like a q and A. I could bring people up and then move them down and then end the room when it was done. I would say that the most successful clubhouse rooms have a specific format that they follow and I might make a video on this later about the best formats of clubhouse rooms because I think it's super crucial to have a good format to bring the most value to your audience. Now let's talk about clubs because I kind of mentioned it before. Basically clubs are like those interest groups that you saw. So Passive Income Entrepreneurs is my interest group that I created and when people follow it, they will get notified when I create rooms around Passive Income Entrepreneurs. It's a very powerful way to get a lot of people into a room because if a bunch of people start following that club and then I make a room under that club, all those people get notified and they might all join. And that will help for a successful room when a lot of people pour in. Now, if you wanna apply for a club, I'm gonna link it down below. It allows you to apply for a club and it takes about two to three weeks, I believe. For me, it took around that time. It might be shorter for you, who knows? But I think there's a long wait list because a lot of people are trying to apply for these clubs. So I know that was kind of a lot, but I hope this is a good breakdown of how the Clubhouse app works. I would say that you should just keep joining the conversation, join a bunch of these rooms, raise your hand to speak, and and then you'll kind of get the flow of things as you experience it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if this video helped and make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.